Okay, let's use an ex let's do an example. In parallelogram C D E F D E let's do this big enough that we can see it. D E is seventy four millimeters. D G is thirty one millimeters and the measure of F C D F C D is forty two degrees. Find the measure of C F the measure of angle E F C and the measure of DF. Well, this is not too tricky. Why not? Well, they tell us it's a parallelogram. Excellent. If it is a parallelogram, then the first theorem is that opposite sides are congruent. So if we have to find CF, it's the opposite side to DE. So CF has to be 74 millimeters. Okay. The measure of angle EFC well, do we know anything about the angles of parallelograms? <gasps> Why, yes we do. We know that if we have a parallelogram, the consecutive angles are supplementary. So, if FCD is 42 degrees, and let's look at this parallelogram again without all the confusing diagonals. Here's my parallelogram, C, D, E, F. If this angle is 42 degrees and I have to find angle E, F, C, well, it's a parallelogram. And these guys are supplementary, so angle C plus angle F equal 180 degrees. See, we just had a theorem about that here. Consecutive angles are supplementary, we, but angle C is 42 degrees plus angle F is 180 degrees. Subtract 42 from both sides. Angle F is equal to 180 minus 42. That would be 138. What else do we need to find? The measure of DF. Hmm. DF. Well, we know DG is 31 degrees, but wait, we know that when we have parallelograms, the diagonals bisect each other. Bisect means that this guy is going to be equal to this guy, so DF equals 2 times DG but DG is 31 millimeters, so 31 times 2 is DF. That is going to give us DF equals 62 millimeters. We are done.